Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Dishonored 2. So, can we uh, interact with this? So here we are, where my dear lying half-sister Jessamine and I played as children. Where she first opened her bedchambers to you, then gave birth to your daughter. Where you let Dowd murder sweet Jessamine. The place that ruined both our lives. You have a twisted view of the world, and I have no idea whether you're telling the truth or not. But it doesn't matter. Ooh. Can we get over this? I'm assuming this is... Yeah, it's able to be opened. Um, before we go over there, though, let me just check. There's nothing over here. I don't think there was. I think we searched this. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we got a number of bone charms and runes to collect, three to be more specific I believe, and this one seems to be the closest that we have. So we're finding the, um, restoring the power to the elevator so that we can go to the throne room and meet Delilah in person. So actually that is on the floor above, which leads me to think. That we've got a long way to go. The sound they make hitting bottom. So delicate, so fine. The old woman who picked off the roof cared more about these dishes than she did her own rotten bones. <laughs> she begged us not to break anything else. Oh, please, not that one. It's over a hundred years old. No, no, that belonged to Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin. It was a <laughs> wedding gift. The older it is, the more exciting to smash, I say. Yes. Why is that, I wonder? Another mystery. You're so mean. All them dishes. Right, well, that doesn't seem like the best approach right now. We'll see what our other options are first, I suppose, and then we'll work our way back. If we see fit. Oh, oh god, there is... Playback indicates criminal profile. There is, um... A clockwork guy. Well, uh... Gotcha. Take their heads off and then they start attacking each other. Oh, gotcha. Problem solved. And we get a plaque for that one. And I'm going to have to use my vision. There's the other plaque. I don't know what these get you, but I'm pretty certain we've killed every single uh, clockwork guy up to this point. Ow, they're not mine. I thought they were mine. First shot we get hit with turns into blood flies, I thought. Hmm. Apparently not. Well, isn't this pleasant? Exploring this place looks to be very daunting indeed. I'm inclined to not take the stealthy approach at all and just uh, murder our way through every single room. <laughs> it is high chaos after all. Ooh, rare whale bum. Of course, we will continue the looting spree. That's never going to stop. I enjoy looting too much. Hmm. Alright, let's get the, uh, the Telltale Heart out again. Yeah, everything's upstairs. So, other than... Actually, I just saw... That's no, just food. Ooh, there's magical things back there. Ah, the chapel. Why is there a tree in the middle of the chapel? We'll find out through the power of the audiograph, maybe. It worked. Hang on. Delilah on Rune Harmony. Hmm. Delilah's new painting. 
Craft corrupt runes, combine dry algae, pigment, and human bones. Use corrupt runes to sabotage Delilah Copperspoon's secret project. It sounds dangerous, but I might be able to sabotage it. Hmm. With more corrupt runes, maybe I can turn Delilah's painting against her. With more runes, I should be able to do the same to all the Empire. This will be my greatest undertaking. Transposing my painting. The world as it should be. With this wretched dung heap we're all born into. At last, all will be made proper and good. Alright. I'm guessing there's one more thing in this room that we haven't grabbed. Um, ah, the human bone. There you go. With that, we make a corrupt bone charm. A corrupt rune. A corrupt thing. We create corruption. Ooh. It's uh, a skull with a stylish haircut. Alright, hopefully this isn't a non-lethal way. A powerful and unstable rune crafted from human remains. Fair enough. I hear a uh, clockwork individual who wants to die. How pleasant. Alright. Lots of flies. Well, there's a staircase up to get the runes and bone charms. We might as well go into the security room now, I guess. Just because we're here. And so we might as well. Oh, poor you. Invitation from Her Majesty Empress Delilah Caldwin. Hmm. Is that the Duchess, then? That was in the uh, in the text, quite possibly. Okay. Oh God. Hi. Um. Just gonna spend some time. Ow! That was fast. I need to hit that thing. There we go. Oh. Take that. And get out the hardened bolts. Nah, cancel the the shot. Who's there? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, is this the security room? It is. Interesting. Onwards we go to the basement. This looks very secure. It may very well be. Well, there's a whale oil tank there that looks to have spilt. Yeah, we're alright. And there's our power. So, first of all. Oh, there's a rune down here as well. I can hear it. There it is. Oh. Eh. Give me it. Eh. There we go. New rune. Okay. Um, I did say we were going to do some bone charm stuff, but I don't think I need to. What I'm actually going to do instead is sacrifice the bone charms. Since that's what I'd be doing anyway. And I can make runes from these then. And also, I'll get rid of these corrupt bone charms because I never use them and don't plan to. The downside is we don't get their mediocre abilities, but we get a lot of whalebone that can be then used 
to craft runes. Yes, please. Now we have five um, runes to work with. So, deflects projectiles and shatters doors. What does the future ones do? Summon a more powerful wind that kills enemies thrown into walls and deflects projectiles with more accuracy. Releases a secondary blast of wind in a short radius around you. Interesting. I don't think I'd ever use that consciously without just going, I fancy using this. Snap reaction. Quick reflexes seem to slow down time briefly when an en enemy spots you. Meh. Sprint faster. Less fall damage. Meh. Turn all enemies to ash as they die. It's a little too late for that. Replenish half your adrenaline and kill multiple enemies within range. Yeah, we've got to go for that. Yes. We might get ourselves some uh, really cool um, kill cams. And you know what? For that exact reason, let's have half of our adrenaline already be on. Okay. And what's this one? Extended duration of possession. Meh. And enemies thrown with a blink. Meh. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to have to take one of them, though. I guess the blink one's more offensive and ready for a final boss battle, so we'll go with that. Right, as I was saying... We take the whale oil tank and we refill it in this machine. Or maybe not. Is that not the thing that does the stuff? Do I have to use that one? Where's the button? Maybe I'm missing something here. Is there a lever that is attached to this? dark vision it. Ah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I don't know why I just wasn't seeing it. There we go. Take the whale oil. Stick it in there. With the power on, I can take the elevator to the throne room. I just heard some witches. Hmm. The belly rumble of machines digesting oil. Eh. Got it. All right. Let's go down that way, I guess. A lot of these areas we have visited. We haven't visited any of this, though. Might as well just refuel on all of that stuff. Just in case we come across stuff, it'll save me some time. Hmm. I'm only doing a quick check on... Oh. What is down there? I'm only doing a quick check for certain things because, for the most part, most of the stuff we do here is not going to really matter. Like, we don't need blueprints or artwork at this point. But if I see something interesting, like an Easter egg, I would love to know that I had the chance of seeing it. And we're back in the main hall. Right, um, what we did miss was those bone charms, though. Ow. We never went upstairs. So that's something we're going to go do now. Also, these two in here. Kia! Oh, they're not there. Come on. Yeah. Get away from it. 
And eh. Is this just about back down to the security room? I think it is. Yes. Yes it is. It's the staircase that we walked past. Alright. Well. On that note, ooh. Things. Yay. Block doors. That lead out to the main hall. God damn it. Alright. So, the staircase. Leave me alone. Ow. Ow. Was over here somewhere. Ooh. You see, we could talk to Delilah again. We are part of a very small group. Almost the last of Jessamine's circle. And we've both been marked by the black eyed bastard. What do you think? Do you ever get cold at night, Lord Protector? I know what it means to give up all hope of gaining justice cleanly. You pass a point, and then you take what you need. But you shouldn't have taken from me, Delilah. Hmm. Right, staircase. Here we go. I heard another clockwork guy as well, so we should expect that. Among other things. Oh, hi! He up! I was supposed to knock people over with that blink, and I didn't. And. Yeah. Cool. There's a doggy. A dead doggy in a minute. Hang on. Let me uh, get ready. <clears throat> Well, that didn't work how I planned. All right, charge! Oof. All right, where's that clockwork guy? Probably in the room of spikes and knives. What the hell is this? That's a shuriken and a half. And then we found our bone charm. Ground glider. Probably slide faster. Slide speed is slightly faster. Yeah. That could be both a joy and a curse, I would imagine. Okay. Where's the final one, then? Right there. There's a health kit for us to reuse. Might as well use a atomized solution while we're at it. We have been full on all of them the entire game comes a point when they're a little bit pointless to be honest. Oh, oh hi. Allow me to uh, just put you out of your misery right now. Oh, <laughs> right between the eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, but where is the clockwork man? You shouldn't be here. See what I do. Oh, I had the chance then, it had a different button on it. God damn it. Why? Why are you exploding? Alright. Not gonna question why you're exploding. Okay, the machine has detected this place of some Bonk. He won't be uh, detecting anything anymore. Also, let's just uh Oh god. registered. What? Excuse me. Fine, you know what? Screw you. Yep. Give me a plaque. Where's your plaque? There it is. 
Oh, and another statue. Hi. Don't you know by now that empresses fall and empires change hands? The wheels of history turn. They cast me up, they will grind you down. Cool. Sure. Right. I hear survivors. Hmm. Bit of a, uh... Old mech. It's nothing to do with that, no. Get away! Stop it! I think you're in there. What's that noise? How do I... Is there a, a hole or anything like that I can see? I don't know. Can I perhaps mess with some object that allows me to get inside? Maybe even blink my way through the gap? Nope. Ah! There you go. Figured it out. Hi. Whoever you are, you're... <laughs> the civilian doing in here. Asking for trouble. Is what he's doing. Also, he's harboring a bone charm I want. Deep grave. Slight chance that grave hounds are destroyed upon spawning. That one's so useful. But I bet it's a really slight chance though, which is why I'm not going to go into any effort to make a bone charm from it, because I also have used a lot of, uh, a lot of our bones for it. Right. Ooh. What's the god? This way. Ah, we've talked to you. Right, the rest of it though is done. There's no more runes or bone charms. So let us go to the elevator. Let's go meet our foe. Let's go. Uh, wrong way. Wonderful. Around here? Yes. Yup. Yup. Get away from me. Ow. God damn it. Eh. There we go. Right. Use both of them. Take both of them. And call the elevator. We never went through there. Oh god! Get out. You're not welcome. Right, we've got the Grand Hall, the Reception and Library Offices of Rank and the Throne Room. Um, we've been on both of those floors, I think, except for maybe the Royal Protector's Office. The Reception and Library we've just been through because we can get there by staircase, but I'm not sure if we went all the way up here. You see, this doesn't feel very familiar. Largely because it probably isn't. Also, this is literally it. Yep. Literally it. Okay. Well, on that note, go to the fourth floor. And we're in. No need for a rewire tool. We've maybe used like five in our entire time of playing this. Is there anything up there? I wonder. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Tower rooftop. Let's go. I'm assuming we're ready to go and to fight. Are we going to fight on the rooftops with our magical powers of shape shifting and stuff?
That'd be cool. Also, I really hope that that um, the rune that I made doesn't mean that we're going to non-lethally kill Delilah because I want the most chaos and that just kind of involves murdering her. But if it, like, knocks her powers back a bunch, I won't mind that. That'd be cool. Also, let's check the heart. No runes and bone charms to be seen. You will take me back and die at my hands. Oh, oh, okay. Well, it's time to fight. So I'm not hiding anymore. And I'll use my dark vision to make sure nobody hides. Mission clue. Using the heart on Delilah Copperspoon could return her spirit to her body, making her vulnerable. There she is. Hmm. Let's case the joint first. Ow. <laughs> that was a very good casing of the joint. What has Delilah done to the throne? What has she done? Hmm. She's given it lots of... Oh. I think we put the corrupt rune there. And it makes her not that good anymore. Close. Close. We can get right above her head. Right here. Hi. If I change the number of corrupt runes attached to the throne, it should turn Delilah's painting against her. But what does that entail? It just seems too much like, um... Like not lethally killing her. Hi. At last, I've waited for this moment here in my tower. So now I will complete my great painting. I will make the world as it should be. And oh. there's no place in it for you. Oh, take my heart. Long live Delilah Caldwin, first of her reign. Best probably kill these. It's kind of what I'm, uh. Yeah. Kind of worried about these guys. There you go. You brought me back my spirit. Follow me, dear Corvo, and see how I will reshape all things. Oh, dear. I guess we're following her. When it lets me. Oh, no. How will I find bone charms and runes now? What's the mission clue? Delilah fled into a magical painting after her spirit was returned to her. Follow her into a painting to prevent her from bending reality across the empire. Let's go then. The world as it should be. So she replace all the world with this. Bright lights. This is uh, it's quite the reality you've got here, Delilah. 
if I must say so myself. Ah! Should get out of my gun and shoot a couple. Right, let's try just double tap thing when they get close enough. I need more than one though in close proximity. Come on. Come on, get closer. Fine. Whatever. I've lost it now. Whoa. Was that it? Awesome. Now wander the void for eternity, Delilah. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Can I take this throne? I like this one. Take the throne for yourself. Absolutely gonna do that. When I find the throne. That's all the way over there. Or do I have to go through the painting? Is that what you want me to do? I get the impression that's what I'm supposed to do. Hi, My Emily. Daughter. Hi. Sorry, sweetheart. I just chipped a finger. I'm, uh... Yeah I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm taking the throne for myself. I'm sure this is the canon way of uh, completing this game. Screw you, Emily. Oh, yes. I like this rally. And I'm going to sleep now. Gotta get comfortable. Death to the Empress. Killed five civilians, 60 of them were hostile. Zero alarms rung, loads of bodies detected. Usual, assault lethal. All the runes, all the shrines, all the bone charms, about half the coins as usual, all the paintings and half the blueprints. And we did all the special actions. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, are we getting our special ending? I don't know. But it's loading. Or it better be. Empire in Chaos achievement unlocked. Ooh. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. And so the Duke's reign in Sirkonos came to an abrupt end, with the old order burned to the ground. Times were hard, and the people left in the rubble had no choice but to claw and fight for every last scrap. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed, their disastrous coup brought to an end. And thus, a new emperor arose in the capital, as Corvo the Black seized the Empire and hunted down his enemies, with his precious daughter safe behind his throne for all time. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. Is that it? <laughs> I think it's it. 
Yeah. That is Dishonored 2. I'm not sure if that's the highest chaos ending, but it is certainly a chaotic ending. So for... Yep, for everybody who stuck around for the entire series, thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. And I'm glad that you hopefully enjoyed the series at the very least. So before you leave, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.